So this plant, when it's in bloom and it looks a bit healthier than this, is probably one of the most recognizable plants throughout the world. This is a dandelion. I know at this time of year it's closing up, it doesn't look great. I just dug it out of the garden. But I just want to tell you a few points about how amazing this plant actually is. This has been used for thousands of years all over the world for medicinal reasons and as a food source. It is packed full of nutrition. Every part of it is edible from the flowers right down to the bottom part of this root. It's all edible and it can be a serious, serious addition to your diet. So the green part here, as you can see, look at this is actually why you call it dandelion because it's got these sharp lion like teeth on the leaves. Um, the green part can be just used like a salad leaf and it is packed full of vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin K. It's got more vitamin A than spinach and spinach is packed full of it. And it's got more vitamin C than tomatoes and vitamin K is loaded with it. And if you were to eat a cup of them greens a day, it would give you like way more than twice more vitamin K than you need for a daily intake recommendation. It's also got calcium and iron. It is incredible. You can make a tea out of this leaf as well. And it's actually an amazing treatment for any kidney ailments. It's a diuretic, gets water moving through the body. Um, it's also, the root can be used. You can, you can grind this up, dry it and roast it and use it as a, a replacement for coffee if you don't want a caffeinated drink. And this is also very good to be eaten. You could eat this just like any sort of root veg. Um, it's excellent for liver function. An incredible plant and it grows everywhere. People actually f like look down on the plant because they consider it a weed, uh, but it didn't used to be a weed. It used to be grown throughout the world and used throughout the world, um, promoted and looked after. People would actually take grass away from the edge of it. It's flipped now and it's dug out of lawns because people don't like the aesthetic look of it, of it sticking out of the grass. But one thing to note, and this is very important when you're thinking about digging your, uh, your um, dandelions out of your lawn, they can actually send their deep tap root. This is a small dandelion. You know they can get very big. The tap root here can go right down very deep into the soil and it's able to pull nutrients up like calcium up and then it makes it available to the plants that are around them. So this is actually fertilizing your lawn without you even knowing it. And there's you digging it up. So think twice. And if you've run out of salad leaves in your fridge, pop outside and especially in spring, the roads are lined with it. They're so beautiful and the bees love them. This is truly a magic plant that everybody should really appreciate.